one little thing I have also here as a note is the, that you stated that PLCs are important for the food industry. So let us know why did you got that idea or why are they very important in the control and automation of food industry? In chemical engineering curriculum, there's a little bit, there's a taste of controls and automation. You know, at least in my, at least at Davis, we looked at transfer functions. We did, you know, planning with Laplace transforms and stuff like that. And we did a little bit of work around controls and automation and that kind of stuff. But it was really just one class and it barely even broke the surface. Since I've been in industry, especially food and beverage, I've realized or I've come to know that like automation and PLC programming is very, very widespread. And I, I like it a lot. I think getting into the controls, getting into the logic is really neat and interesting. So it's something that I have dedicated time to learn about, to become more familiar with. And I think it's a good skill for any chemical engineer to pick up, at least if they're going to be in industry, because it seems like process design and process engineering and controls and automation engineering really go hand in hand. You know, I size the pumps and the valves and the tanks, and then we get a programmer on site that writes the code that runs the pumps and the valves and feeds the tank. If I can design a system uh, with pumps and valves and et cetera, and I can think about how that system needs to be programmed, you know, I, my pump is going to be on a VFD and it's going to run based on the level that we get from this tank. And I want the response to be uh, a little bit slow, but I want it to make up a fast response if it's been offset for too long. And if I can describe that to the programmer and I can help them write the code and tweak out any bugs, then it makes my life easy. It makes their life easy. And it ultimately results in a higher quality process design. Everyone is happy then. Victor, it's very interesting because I interviewed one friend of mine, I think two days, maybe three days ago. And he's also working in a food industry company, let's say it's called Puratus in Belgium. And he told me the same thing on automation, that he sees a lot of automation things going on. So that's why I wanted to make an a little note on this so it's funny to find that the food industry finds plc control automator all these things a uh, very crucial role so thank you for sharing victor check out the full episode at chemicalengineeringguy.com slash forward podcast i'll see you there